happening tonight. There will be new rules for all travelers. These are coming from the CDC. P people traveling on planes, trains, and other public transportation will be required to wear masks. Fox 59's Eric Pointer joins us. He's live in our newsroom. Eric, good morning. Let's talk about uh, when these rules are in place. What happens if someone refuses? So the new order makes refusal to wear a mask a federal violation. The CDC says that it reserves the right to enforce the order through criminal penalties, but doesn't intend to primarily rely on them. But there are some exceptions. Children under two or people with certain disabilities won't be required to wear a mask. And also, people can take them off for certain things like eating, drinking, taking medicine, or if they need to talk to someone who is hearing impaired and needs to read their lips. Now, this comes as new vaccines are given getting ready to apply for emergency approval, and that includes Johnson & Johnson. And although it's only about 66% effective, doctors say that it can still help prevent severe cases. Just to give perspective, you know, the annual flu vaccine is only about 40 to 50 percent effective every year, yet it still saves lives, it still reduces hospitalizations. All U.S. airlines have already had their own mandatory mask requirements, and so far since May, they have banned more than 2,700 passengers for violations of their mask policies and other disruptions. Now, these new rules will go into effect tonight at 11.59. Back to you in the studio.